Welcome to the Honda Power Equipment video on how to operate your EB2800i or EG2800i Honda generator. In this video, we'll show you how to properly and safely operate your new generator so it will provide you with many years of reliable service. Take a moment to read the safety labels on the generator. These labels warn you of potential hazards that can cause serious injury. Consult the owner's manual regarding the possible hazards of operation of this generator. Using a generator indoors can kill you in minutes. Generator exhaust contains carbon monoxide. This is a poison you cannot see or smell. Never use inside a home or garage, even if doors and windows are open. Only use outside and far away from windows, doors, and vents. Your generator's controls include the choke rod, the engine on-off switch, the output indicator light, the overload alarm, the oil alert indicator light, the eco throttle switch, the AC receptacles, and on EB2800i models, the GFCI receptacles, the ground terminal, the fuel valve lever, and the starter grip. The oil alert system will automatically stop the engine before the oil level falls below safe limits. However, to avoid the inconvenience of an unexpected shutdown, check the oil level before each use. Before starting the engine, move the generator at least 10 feet away from the fueling source. Operate the generator at least 3 feet away from buildings, doors, or windows. To start the engine, move the fuel lever to the on position. Make sure the eco throttle switch is off. Pull the choke rod out to the closed position. Turn the engine switch to the on position. Pull the starter grip lightly until you feel resistance, then pull briskly away from the generator. After the engine is started, gradually move the choke lever to the in position. When the engine is running, the green output indicator light will be on. The green light means the generator is operating normally and is making power at the receptacles. Both the EB and EG2800i generators have the same 2800 watt peak capability, but they're designed for specific applications. The AC receptacles on the EB2800i and EG2800i can supply power to consumer products or tools that operate at 120 volts and require less than 2800 watts or 23.3 amps of power. Limit operation requiring maximum power to 30 minutes or less. For run times longer than 30 minutes, don't exceed the rated power load of 2500 watts or 20.8 amps. Note that most motorized appliances require more than their electrical rating for startup. If the overload indicator light turns on and the AC circuit protector switches off, the generator's total output of 2800 watts is being exceeded or there is a short circuit in a connected appliance. The eco throttle switch automatically reduces engine speed when loads are turned off or disconnected. This feature minimizes fuel consumption and further reduces noise levels when less than a full load is applied to the generator. The EB2800i is equipped with a ground fault circuit interrupter or GFCI for short. GFCI is required where OSHA regulates a specific job or worksite for safety reasons and must be tested before each use. To perform a GFCI test or reset, follow these basic steps. Unplug all tools and appliances. Check that the circuit protector is set to on. Press the test button. The reset button will extend and LED will light. Press the reset button until flush with the base. If the reset button will not depress, or if the GFCI LED stays on, contact an authorized Honda generator dealer for repair. To stop the engine under normal conditions, turn off or disconnect all appliances that are connected to the generator and turn the engine switch to the off position. 
This concludes the video tutorial on how to operate your EB2800i or EG2800i Honda generator. Always refer to the owner's manual for clarification and more detail on the procedures shown in this video.